Well, on the agenda today is we'll discuss on these particular subtopics. Cabin preparation by cabin crew. We'll talk about duties under normal situations and operations and what exactly is normal. Well, protocols to be followed by the cabin crew pre takeoff as well as post takeoff. Protocols to be followed by the cabin crew during the approach and the landing phase of the flight and protocols to be followed for turn around flights. Well, this is what is the agenda or the session objectives today. Friends, let's look at what exactly is the cabin crew duties during normal operations. So what exactly is normal? Well, normal is something which is not abnormal. So definitely normal situation means a situation wherein everything is going according to the standard operating procedures. There is no suspicions or there is rather no abnormality or no emergency situations. And that is the time when everything is according to the right way how things are supposed to go. So cabin crew duties during normal operations, we will divide it into three particular segments, pre-takeoff, post takeoff and also we'll talk about turnaround flights. Well, certain duties of the cabin crew pre-passenger boarding are, the senior cabin crew member is to conduct safety briefings. Now we have understood that before going on a particular flight or the aircraft, cabin crew members are supposed to come together with their teams and they're supposed to discuss certain safety as well as service questions. These are known as pre-flight briefing. Board the aircraft once the briefing has got conducted, they have to go to the aircraft, they have to store their luggage at the designated areas which is for their luggage and they need to make sure that they have carried out certain security and safety checks. They need to make sure that each and every cabin crew member on board the aircraft goes and checks their particular areas of responsibilities with regards to whether all the things are working in the right manner or not. They also have to check the toilets, the passenger seats, make sure that under each passenger seat there is a life jacket, make sure that the toilets are neat and clean etc. They need to also carry out the galley check as well as the catering check. Now galley is known as the kitchen of the aircraft where all the food items are stored as well as the beverages are stored. So a cabin crew member is particularly designated or has a position for the galley. She needs to make sure that the catering is happening as per the number of passengers. Meals are carried as per the number of passengers on the aircraft. Beverage is also carried accordingly so that there is no shortage of food for the passengers. Any suspicious objects has to be reported to the ground staff as soon as possible because any suspicious item can really create an emergency situation. Well, when passengers are boarding the aircraft, that is the time when the crew has to have a bright smile on their face. And let's look at what are the protocols and duties to be followed while the boarding is happening. Well, they need to inspect and monitor passenger boarding routes. So they need to be very, very vigilant as well as alert. They need to monitor boarding of the passengers so that no suspicious looking passenger enters the aircraft. Now, it is a duty of a cabin crew to make sure that each and every passenger that they are welcoming they need to really scan the passenger in terms of is he suspicious looking, does he look like a threat on board the aircraft, is there anything suspicious about that passenger. So that's the place or that is the time when the crew has to be really vigilant and alert. Observe the passenger behavior, make sure, make noting of any kind of suspicious behavior and immediately report it to the in-flight manager. Systematic, methodological and predictable Everybody who is entering the aircraft needs to make sure that they are regular passengers or rather there's nothing, you know, anything which is going against them. Ensure the passengers are advised of aircraft refueling. Now, a aircraft needs to definitely carry fuel whenever it's flying to a destination. Now, it is important that the cabin crew make sure whenever the refueling is happening in the aircraft, passengers are supposed to remain seated in the aircraft at their designated seats. And also they need to keep sure that their mobile phones are on switched off or silent mode. They do not, should not rather speak on the phones when the refueling is happening as it can be detrimental. Assist the passengers on the boarding and the seating procedures. 
Any particular passenger coming on board the aircraft might require the help of a cabin crew to stow the baggage or rather they might look confused as to where their seats are especially if there is a first time traveler on the aircraft. So a cabin crew's duty is to help them out. Give safety briefings to the passengers seated at the emergency exit row area. So whoever is sitting at the you know wing exit wherein the they need to be briefed on how to open the exit in case of an evacuation or an emergency situation. So a crew needs to brief all of those passengers. Close doors and arm the evacuation slides. It is very important that the crew knows how to close the doors of the aircraft properly and also arm the slides. Now, we will talk about this in a little detail after a you know, couple of modules wherein we'll ask you or rather tell you how a slide needs to be armed so that in case it has to be open in an armed position, the slides of the aircraft can go down. Let's talk about pre-takeoff. Now, passengers have boarded, crew are ready, welcome them and make sure that they are seated. Now, immediately after takeoff, what happens? Let's look at that. So, before taking off, let's look at pre-takeoff. So, what are the cabin crew duties? She needs to ensure that a safety demonstration is conducted. The senior most crew member of the flight will make the safety announcement wherein she will tell the passengers what are the safety requirements on board the aircraft and how the seat belt has to be tied, how the oxygen mask needs to be used in case of an emergency, how a life jacket needs to be used, etc. So this crew member is making this particular announcement and the other crew members will make sure that they are doing the demonstration for the passengers to follow. Carry out a cabin secure check. Ensure that the flight crew are advised that the cabin is secure for takeoff. The flight crew who is sitting inside the pilot's cabin, that is known as the flight deck area, they need to get a confirmation from the cabin crew that the cabin is secured, the passengers are secured, the galley, the kitchen, everything is secured for takeoff and they are ready for takeoff mode. Adjust the cabin lightning as appropriate. Now, whatever may be the time of the day or night when the flight is there, the cabin crew needs to make sure that the cabin lights are dimmed, you know, according to the situation outside. So whatever time of the day, they need to make sure that the cabin lights are completely switched off or dimmed so that the passengers can have a proper look outside the window. Take up the crew stations according to their work position, they need to take the crew station. Remain alert to any kind of hazardous situation. During the takeoff is the most crucial time for the pilot as well as the cabin crew. At that point of time, the crew needs to be very vigilant and alert, look at any kind of suspicious movement from the passenger side. Let's talk about post takeoff. So the aircraft has taken off and now let's look at what the duties of a cabin crew are, what the protocols are after takeoff. Well, they need to firstly remain seated after takeoff till the time the flight deck crew or the captains of the flight or the pilots of the flight signal them that it's safe for the crew to get up. The crew can get up but the passengers cannot get up till the time the switch off of the you know the seat belt sign is on they have to remain seated. Once that goes off they can move about. Ensure that the passengers remain seated till the time the seat belt sign is switched off. Make sure, uh, rather prepare the cabin for the service that they will carry out. Now, after takeoff is the time when food is served to the passengers and drinks are served to the passengers. So they will make sure that they are readying all the galley material and all the carts and ex everything ready for the service part. Now, the cruising happens at 30,000 or 33,000 square feet above the ground and when the cruise happens at that particular time the cabin crew are in the cabin serving the passengers because the aircraft is at a stable position so you know you during takeoff you really cannot serve during landing you cannot serve you have to serve the passenger when the flight is absolutely still and that is the time when food and beverage service is carried out so friends, let's look at what these protocols are whenever a flight attendant needs to enter inside the cockpit. Now, whenever there is a person needing to enter into the cockpit, one person from the flight crew, which is the cabin crew, needs to stand in front of the cockpit door so that no unauthorized person can enter into the cockpit and hijack the aircraft. 
And another way in which they can really prevent such a case from happening is by drawing the curtains to make sure passengers cannot see the crew entering the flight deck as well as getting out of the flight deck. So that's the protocol that the crew needs to follow, ensure that everything is in terms of the standard operating procedures. The next thing is she needs to carry out a general surveillance of toilets, galleys, flight deck and the cabin. Whenever the service finishes in the cabin, the food, beverage, tea, coffee, etc., the crew should generally take a walk into the cabin to make sure that there is no suspicious thing happening or if everything should happen according to the protocols. Checking the toilets, making sure that nobody is smoking inside the toilet, making sure that the galley is neat and clean. All of that are hygiene factors that she needs to ensure. Well, the takeoff has happened, cruise level has happened, the tea, coffee and the food service has carried out. Now it's time for approach and landing and that is the time certain protocols need to be again followed. Let's look at them. So for protocols for approach and landing, when a seatbelt signs are illuminated, advise the passengers that they need to sit down on their respective seats. They now cannot use the lavatory and they cannot be standing, so they have to sit down with their seatbelts fastened. Carry out the cabin secure check as they did prior to takeoff. So a crew member will walk around and make sure and also make an announcement that the seat belts need to be fastened and the seats need to be upright, the tray tables need to be closed. All of these things need to be carried out as it had happened before takeoff. Ensure that the flight crew is advised that the cabin is secure. Just like before takeoff, even after takeoff and during the landing stage, the flight deck crew, that is the captain or the pilot, needs to know that the cabin is secure, passengers are safe, and also the you know the galley is secure and crew are at their respective stations. Adjust the cabin lightning as appropriate. So dim the cabin lights or even switch off the cabin lights. Take up the cabin crew station, make sure your seat belts are fastened and you're, uh, you know, sitting with your, in your normal positions or your de designated crew positions. Remain alert to any kind of hazardous situation. So that is again a time before landing wherein you need to ensure that you're alert to any kind of suspicious movement from the passenger side. When you have landed at your designated particular destination and uh, you know the disembarkation procedure will happen now. Now for disembarkation also there are certain protocols which a crew needs to follow. Let's look at what they are. So protocols for disembarkation, you need to remain seated and secure. Now what happens is generally when a flight lands at a particular destination, immediately the passengers start getting up, they open the overhead bins, they start taking out their luggage etc. You need to ensure that announcement is made that passengers need to remain seated till the time the switch off button of seat belts is put off so they need to be seated that time ensure that they remain seated till the time the seat belt signs are turned off disarm the evacuation devices so the arms of the rather the doors or slides are armed so what you need to do is disarm the slides adjust the cabin lights as appropriate so before Landing, you had switched off the cabin lights, now you need to turn them on. Ensure disembarkation equipment such as steps or aerobridge is aligned before you open the door of the cabin. So it's very important that the front crew, the main crew who is there in the front of the, you know, of the aircraft needs to ensure that either a step ladder or a aerobridge is there at the door before she even opens up the door. Monitor the disembarkation of passengers. Make sure you thank each and every passenger while they are disembarking. Conduct a security check and report in case of any kind of suspicious material left behind by a passenger to the ground staff and that's very important. Friends, now there are certain flights which are turnaround flights. Now what are turnaround flights? Flights which immediately have a halt for you know 20 minutes or 30 minutes maximum and then they turn around and go back to the destination where they started from. For example, if you are going to Mumbai to Delhi, there will be a turnaround flight from Delhi back to Mumbai and that is the time when it's called a turnaround flight wherein there is a stop for only refueling and getting new passengers on board and going back to the particular destination. Now for turnaround flights, it's important to make sure that refueling will happen. Again, ensuring that passengers are seated while the fueling is going on, having their mobile phones on silent mode and sitting at their respective seats. 
When turnaround flight happens, you need to ensure that the toilets are clean, the water level is raised, etc. So these are certain protocols for turnaround flights. Well friends, that brings us to the uh, end of this particular segment of cabin crew duties in normal operations. Well, we hope you have enjoyed listening to this particular segment. Keep watching more videos coming your way. Till then, thank you.